All right, guys, our exclusive artifacts, everything they're cracked up to be. Let's check it out. Apocalypto here. Welcome to today's video. We're going to do another Watcher of Realms, but today the subject is artifacts. We're going to talk about specifically the exclusive artifacts versus the regular artifacts. We're going to see if there's any big difference in the damage output and if one is inherently better than the other. Let's take a look at a couple and we'll do the you know reading of the gear. We'll do the actual reading of the artifact and then we'll actually do a play test of a you know a fairly easy level so we can kind of uh, see what the difference in damage is right let's get after it today guys we're on lucifer's account he's lent it to me today so i can go ahead and do some of these artifact videos kind of go through some of the pros and cons and the comparisons to see which is better lucifer didium thank you sir shout out to you my friend all right let's get after this one we're going to go ahead and start off with cetrum cetrum now uh, I'll go ahead and put the Spirit Siphon on him. It is a great, uh, you know, very, very good uh, um, uh, artifact for Marksman. Uh, let's go over it. It says real quick, it says increased damage dealt to the same target by 10% with each consecutive hit up to three times, you know, it stacks. So it goes up, you know, 10, 20, 30, right? Uh, assuming you don't change targets. So if you stay on the same target, it'll stay 10, 20, 30, and then it'll hit 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30 every time. If you switch targets and then come back to that target, it starts it off at 10. And then if you switch to another target, it starts that one off at 10. And then switch to another target, it starts it off at 10. You continuously hit that same target up to three or more times in a row. That's how you get to 30. You stay on that target, that's how you maintain the 30. So, you gotta be strategic. It don't always work in the best situations, but Let's take a quick run and see what kind of damage output we can get on this baby. I'm going to go ahead and go to Gear Raid 3. It is a marksman specific class, uh, um, you know, uh, Gear Raid. But what we're going to do, <coughs> we're going to go ahead and come over to, let's do 16. We're going to come over to 16 and see what we can get damage going. I don't have a big team in here, and this is it's meant to do this on purpose, right? We're just doing testing. So I got to put certain people off to the side so they can handle everything, and then everything in the middle. Really don't even need two healers here. I don't think you even need one, but we'll throw it down just in case. All right, session first. Now, in order to make this test as legit as possible, we need to do the same layout for these two so that the, uh, you know, the, the RNG is the same, right? We'll put Silas over here. Uh, we'll put him right there. All right. And we'll wait for the 22. 21, there we go. Ooh, ooh. Oh, they got me. All right, put you right there. And there we are. Now, Cetrum, since the boss is open, we'll let him go ahead and do the ultimate. Get as much damage off as possible. Good deal. Now, we sit back and wait for the rest of the level. Now that we've got all the baddies knocked out, we're gonna go check a look at these stats. Look at these big guys here. Man, this dude's freaking beast, isn't he? All right, so we'll go ahead and write this down. Does 4.1. Zetrum knocked out 4.1 with only one ultimate use against the boss and uh, the spirit siphon on. So now what we'll do is we'll swap that out and we'll do another run and see what the difference is. All right, let's take a look at this exclusive real quick. It's the Oblivion Pendant. All right, it says increases the ultimate duration by 6.5 seconds and the self repair by uh, five seconds. You know, kind of gives you an additional extreme damage output, but it kind of cuts you back a little bit by making you wait an extra five seconds on the self repair. Be strategic with it, right? There's a time and a place for it all. But right now, we're going to go ahead and run and see if we can get any sort of damage output difference on this. Now, this is probably not the best case because, uh, uh, you know, he kills the boss fairly quickly anyway. But we're going to see what the damage difference is on the same run. Let's go back to 16. 
We'll do fight and start. Everybody the same. We're gonna lay people out the same and try to do it at the same speed. Let's go. Set him first. Oh, steady set. All right. We do Hasut next. <clears throat> Boom, right there. Everybody's looking dandy. Come on, 1920. There you are. He's a beast. And then we'll put Silas over here on the last. Yada, yada, yada. Go ahead and get that going. Hey. Silas there. All right, all right, all right. Now we just sit back and wait. There we go, there we go. Let's take a look at that damage output now. And last time we had 4-1. This time we got just 4-2, just barely, just barely, all right? Now let's try it again. Let's see if we can get any different results from a larger, more more uh, stacked boss, right? Let's try to give it a fight on 19. Let's see if we can do this. It's a bit harder. Let's try 18. Medium, let's try that. Setchman goes first. We'll put hot suit second. There we are. Golden, golden, golden. There we go. This little guy here. And then the last one here. Set from pull that. There we are. get the whole thing all right i'll try to make sure and get him uh make sure he gets the entire next boss as well too try to get the uh the best um comparison possible it we're doing this just to make sure we have the right information right i don't want to mislead you guys at all so we'll go to stats we'll go ahead and write this down we got 5.8 this time all right let's go back and do the swap on the artifact spirit siphon replace then we'll go right back to it Rate three, stage 18, fight, start. Same timing. I'm gonna try to get the same timing. There you go. Take out the baddies. We'll get Hasud out there.
it is again. Let's take this look. See, the last one was 5 8. Let is let, let let's see, guys. Let's see what we got. What do we think? Comments down below. What do you think the difference is? What do you think is going to be better? All right, let's take a look. Oh, right at six. 5.8 to 6.0. 5.8 to 6.0. Wow. Didn't see that coming. It's a bit different. A bit different. We got a little bit higher damage output on this one. So let's try one more level. Go ahead and double check. I want to make sure we understand what is better and for what reasons, right? All right, so for this test, we're gonna come over here and do a little something a little more direct. We're gonna go on stage five of the gold, because everybody always needs more gold. We're gonna do stage five, and we're just gonna go in three heroes, right? The only real damage dealer is gonna be Cetrum, and we're gonna do two runs, see uh, what each artifact really does, all right? So let's take a look at the first one. We're going to, uh, where's, I need one more, one more. Where is Olog? Where is my boy? There he is. I don't want any real attack on on the uh, on this. She's going to do a little bit of attacking, uh, but uh, we we ain't going to worry about that. Damage is going to be insignificant overall. So set from first, and then we'll throw uh, we'll throw her here, and this little guy's coming in next. We're right there. Now we'll just turn that ultimate on and we'll let it ride. Try to keep it as auto as possible so that it stays the same. Take the human error out of it. <laughs> Notice he's switching targets a lot right now. Just satisfying to watch that isn't it set him just mowing down the enemies all right let's take a look see what these stats are looking like here first run right at eight million eight point oh that is nice that is nice all right let's go take a look and swap the artifact one last time that was a spirit siphon we did pretty good with that let's check this bad boy out Oblivion Pendant. All right, let's check out this last run here. Let's try it again. Fight. Same guys. We're going to start it, start it again. All right. Set from first. Little lady next. And then Mr. Chubby goes down last. Eighteen, and then put him on auto. And let it ride. No, getting by. What is that? What is that? Absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. It could just be RNG though. Oh, I don't know. That's a lot getting by. It's a lot getting by. That doesn't look good at all. Let's take a look at these stats here, huh? Only six. He was able to get eight with the last one, right? Let's, let's give it one more RNG run. We'll come all the way back out here. And we'll go back. Number five. Five. Oop, running out. Using just a little bit, Lucifer. All right, let's try this one more time. Fight. Start. Directly. Same thing as last. You first. You second. And then this little guy last.
Let's see what these ugly looking stats are gonna be. Hmm, still only did six. Not so good, guys, not so good. And that is with his exclusive. He's dealing less. He's dealing less damage with his exclusive like this. And it's because of this particular round, right? Let me explain. What it is, is when he does this self-repair duration for an ex extra five seconds, that puts him down where these little little baddies are running past him. So he's he has more downtime and he's being overrun by the numbers, right? So this right here, artifact this artifact is going to give you less damage than uh what was that spirit siphon when you're hitting a bunch of enemies now if you're hitting some single target enemies like some very powerful bosses and stuff like that like we were showing in the marksman range uh, or uh you know the uh was it gear a3 then you're going to be able to put out more damage for this individual because your 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 ultimate is going to be extended right and that's where the majority of your power is coming from from a lot of these guys are going to be your ultimate and so it really depends on where you're using him now just to go and double check one last time what i will do is i will swap this last one here for uh spirit siphon on this last run oh what am i doing spirit siphon replace just to show that it's no no trickery go right back to the gold stage five auto all right not auto but we'll go same concept set he set little lady and come on come on put old boy from the goonies down here all right let it ride let it ride satchum does the thing takes him out except the difference here is there's no extended downtime so he's able to get back up and start hitting at these guys again fairly quick before the next wave comes out and overwhelms before these guys were almost completely past everyone by the time he activated that ultimate right they were already entering the uh the crystal by the time he activated the ultimate so that downtime when your the extra downtime on your exclusive actually hurts you when you're you're facing a ton of enemies at one time with this specific guy take a look at that stats again Woo! right back up to basically eight you know 7.9 and some change basically the eight uh eight, eight mark um yeah that's it guys that's the exclusives that's uh one example uh on Cetrum of what uh you know where to use the exclusive and where to use you know his, his typical you know outstanding you know great uh class limited uh you know artifact so i hope this guy's helped you if you have any questions make sure to leave in the comments i'll do another few videos over a couple of others with their uh exclusive versus their regular and see if we can get any difference with that and we'll go from there till next time guys if you enjoyed that video guys check out my channel here or my latest video here till next time apoc out